Pip and Lee on 931 Star FM. Yep, it is only three weeks tomorrow until Christmas Day, which means it's only three weeks today until the Carols by Candlelight at the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl in Melbourne. And one of the ambassadors for the Carols by Candlelight this year uh, for Vision Australia is Harrison Craig. We say good morning. Hey, guys. Hey, Harrison. It's so wonderful to have you on the show this morning. Uh, you've, you. I've been noticing you seem to be really stoked on Christmas, like your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all about Christmas. It's just great. Like, you know, really, it's just the time of the year that's so joyful. And I mean, just, you know, why not? Why not just be wrapped about the Christmas time? What's your favourite part of it? Um, favourite part of it, I think getting up on Christmas morning and watching, you know, everyone just look so joyful about being there with their family and, you know, trying to unwrap all their presents and stuff like that. It's just great. Oh, it's just amazing, isn't it? And of course, the Carols by Candlelight for Vision Australia on Christmas Eve. You're obviously an ambassador. Tell us about what's going to be going on there. Yeah, well, look, this year will be huge. We've just been doing so much promo. It's just going to be great. Look, I mean, for me, I'll be doing a few numbers. So, uh, so look, that'll be great. But uh, look, it will just be a great night. And if you uh, want to support everyone there, jump on to lightercandle.net.au and you can support these incredible kids the whole year round. Because as well as the Carols by Candlelight happening Christmas Eve, the um, Light a Candle is actually, it's open right now where you can light a virtual candle so that funds go to support children who are blind or have low vision. It's a pretty incredible thing to be a part of. Yeah, it is. Look, it's really... Um, changing in the way that you look at it all in a, a really different light because you're part of it and uh, you know it's just incredible to meet them all I mean it's just what a blast you know. Now I noticed the other day that you've done a cover of Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. How was that to record firstly and are you going to be busting it out at the carols? <laughs> it was awesome to record um, you know, I called her up and I was like, you know, is it okay if I do this, Mariah? And she's like, yeah, no worries, that's cool, you know. Hang on, Hang hold on, the phone stop, there. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you called Mariah Carey? No, I wish, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you really had me going there for a second. I thought you must have had her on speed dial. <laughs> Yo, Mariah, right, girl, you want to go out for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Harrison? She's currently single, so maybe you should get on the phone to her. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Just... I don't know if I would be able to provide, um, you know, what Mariah wants, but, you know, <laughs> I can always give it a crack. <laughs> <laughs> you could just, like, send her a message, be like, hey, babe, check out my cover of All I Want for Christmas, and actually... All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah. Um, look, it was great fun to record. And now, um, you know, for carols, you might hear it there. You never know. So uh, you just need to keep watching. <laughs> well, I mean, at the carols as well, there's going to be Jackson Thomas, who, of course, was on The Voice this year, opera singer Michael Vassiani, and Wicked's Lucy Durack. I saw Wicked earlier this year. Her voice is absolutely phenomenal. When you go to undertake something like either, you know, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas or you're performing at a huge event where there's thousands of people and you're performing pe with people like Lucy Durack, before you go out on stage, does a little bit of we come out? <laughs> um, look, it's just, you know, it's so humbling to be a part of an event that really brings an incredible amount of talent to this night, you know, and just for a great cause too. I mean, it's so nice to know that you're part of the bigger picture, that you're, that you're part of a night that people are just so keen about because they want to just nail it too. So it's just awesome. Now, very quickly, one of the uh, announcers up here at Star FM is involved in our local Carols by Candlelight. He's going to be singing a few numbers, Widow. Um, what advice would you give uh, uh, to prepare for something like this, to, for going out on stage in, in front of those people and for getting in the Christmas spirit? What advice would you uh, give to someone who's doing the Carols? Look, I would give the advice of confidence um, because even if, you know, you, you get it wrong, just walk out there and be like, no, my way is the right way, and that's it. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. You need to own it. You need to own it, so, yeah.
<laughs> That's perfect. Hey, Harrison, we wish you all the very best for Vision Australia's Carols by Candlelight. They're happening Christmas Eve at the Sydney Maya Music Bowl, of course, too. If you would like to help the wonderful work that Vision Australia do, head on to lightercandle.net.au to help support children who are blind or have low vision. And all the very best, and thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, pleasure, guys. It's awesome. Pip and Lee. Yeah. Weekdays from 5.30 on Star FM.